Hello everyone, Daniel Kerr here. So the last video that I made, I really, really enjoyed uh, taking those samples uh, from the K2000 VP. It was really, really nice. I'm going to take more samples of the K2000 um, just randomly, and then I'm going to load them into the Akai Force and make some synthwave. That's what I'm going to do. So let's take some of these samples right now. Wow, that sounded amazing, actually. I ended up taking 310 samples or something like that. Uh, I'm going to make them into drum programs in the Akai Force so that I can audition the sounds. Uh, and I'm going to be able to make key groups out of them by pressing the keyboard icon in the corner. Let me show you how that works. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and narrate this part. We're going to load a drum track, and then we're going to navigate to our file location, and we're going to load one of the drum programs that we just made full of the synth sounds. Go to Note, and you can hear them. Listen. Okay, we're going to go up, choose one, go to Menu, go to Track Edit, and hit that little icon right there. And that turns it into a key group. Listen, now, what you'll notice right away, now let me show you, I'm gonna show you this, this bug. If you change it to poly from mono, it's still mono, okay? And it doesn't matter what you do, it stays mono. You can't change it to poly. That's kind of a faux pas, all right? There are, uh, I can prove that this is a bug if we go and load a key group from the matrix and then go to the sample, load the sample by hand. We can load any of these samples that we have in these drum programs, right? <clears throat> any of these synth sounds, they're all there, but we can't audition them from here. But once we do load them, well, check it out. No auditioning. Now from here, uh, we can we can uh, loop these. Listen, and we can change the start and the end loop. 
points and keep listening. I wish it would change in real time while I was holding down the pad, but anyway, change the envelope, give it some tail, but listen, it's poly, see? This is kind of a weird little sound actually, I think I might use this. This is the key group that we made. And even though it's in mono, it's a nice little bass. Let's record something. Let's use the bass line from Blow Pop. from my track Blow Pop from literally 19 years ago. Traveling Across Our Skies was the name of that release. I was living in Taos at the time. Fix some of the notes. Let's go to the key group that I made, that I loaded by hand. Sounds weird. Add some effects. There's a reverb. Let's mess with the reverb time and the amount of mix and find a sweet spot. Record. Record a little something, something, a bass line. Now that was meant to be uh, an alternative bass line. But as you can hear, it sounds good with that initial bass, like a uh, filter stab. Choose a new one. Ah, that saw, it's almost saw brass. It's uh, beautiful. It's kind of a, we'll change the envelope here. Make it more of a pluck. Using the arpeggiator, set to one eighth notes. And I'm listening here, I'm gonna lash the notes so I can hear them, hands free. And I end up changing it two octaves up, or one octave up. Pretty. Stop it, the harp's still going, gotta stop it. Now let's listen, let's look at the notes. Yeah, add some stock drums. Um, I keep saying I never use the stock drums, but and they're, they're there, so I, I find myself using them. I don't have any favorites. Sounds pretty snappy. Don't like that hi-hat, so I'm gonna go to track edit. Go to the samples and I'm going to pitch it up six, seven semitones. Change the envelope. Man, that snare sounds poppy. Love it. Gonna pitch that kick drum up just a little. Nice ride. 
I'm silly. Simple beat. Let's make another copy, add hi-hats. All right, let's just uh, play with what we have and um, everybody have a Merry Christmas. It is Christmas Eve. It's been a couple days since I started this. Everybody be blessed. <laughs>